Hey there, you looked me in the eye. Why did you look away? You turned around this instant and looked at me. Yeah, exactly. What is it? Anyway, hey together, I'm Aaron. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Oh, hey Laika. You had a match call feature pulled on your Pokenav. Cool. Let's register each other so we can get in touch anytime. Registers Brandon in the Pokenav. By the way, Laika. I walked by Mr. Briny uh, in Paddleburg Woods. I bet he was on his way home to his cottage by the sea. Laika, how's your Pokedex? Have you filled in any pages yet? Mine rules! Want to have a battle to test how far you've progressed? Sure. I know you've you just became a trainer, but I won't go easy! Whatever you say, Brandon. Whatever you say. Still not cool with how you opened up our whole conversation at the beginning of everything, so... Uh, first things first, Silver, you're gonna get switched around because I definitely don't wanna have a fight against the Wingo because they're in a disadvantage there with the um, that type of attack. So let's just go and tackle that thing. And yeah, Wingo is sadly a little bit faster than my Kara and my Marsh Tom, but I have the strength on my side because I'm mo much more strong. Nice, nearly. Trico. I have a lot of weakness to Trico at this point. I have four times weakness to any, like, um, thingy type move. Grass type move. So I'm gonna have you in. Leech Seed won't do me any good, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna tackle you. If you use Absorb on me, then you will not get far. I'm one level higher than you. This could actually be an Absorb Mega Drain fight. Oh, and I see why you only use Absorb, because if you use like any of your other type moves, then you will get the spores on you. And he does not want to have the spores on him, I see that. Come on. Lowering my defense, huh? Good thing that Silva is such a good sponge. Which, I mean... Ha! Huh? Gotcha! I mean, a mushroom is kind of like a sponge, so whatever. Also, your Trico is down. Ah, oh, so close. Hmm, you're pretty good. You're pretty bad. And uh, by the way, you know Mr. Briny? That guy just passed? I bet you didn't know this, since you just moved here like a but Mr. Briny was once a great sailor. I kinda heard that already. So, screw you for assuming just anything about me, Brandon. He's frustrating me a lot. I did not think that. Anyway, let's cut down another tree. Slash! Actually, cut, not slash. Whatever. X accuracy, not like I really use these things, but whatever. I want to check something out before I move just onwards. Because there's something inside me going like the, you missed something important. But I didn't get it last time, so maybe I just need to go back for that. So I just want to have a quick look at that. Just to see if my assumptions are right or wrong or whatever. But I know that you get a certain item in here that I wanna have on uh, Vitaly. I'm counting on you. Okay, you don't say anything new. Uh, okay, no. They don't say anything new. Maybe that's later on then? Or I'm just insane. That might also be. I maybe should look that up then. But I, I seem to recall something that apparently is wrong. Maybe I also think about a different uh, Pokemon game. That could also be. That might very well be, actually. Hmm. You'll have to check that out. Anyway, let's cut through here. We could just go the nice and direct road, but there's stuff here that we have not seen yet. Like a Pokemon battle. Never seen anything quite like it. 
Sorry, we already have food in the party, so we didn't need you. So, leave me. Is there anything here? I think some mushrooms. Yeah, tiny mushroom. Noise. Oh, neat! That's a badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. Miracle Seed. I'm actually gonna take the Miracle Seed. Wherever it is. And give that to Silver. Because that way her uh, grass type attacks get strengthened. And I mean, I like strengthening. There's different things that eventually they wanna put on stuff, but for the time being, that's good enough. Uh, not like I need them right now, so whatever. Let's see, a great ball. Nice. Appreciate that one. With so many great balls. Like more than just two at this point. I think there's more mushrooms here. Yeah, more tiny mushrooms. Tiny mushrooms. X attack, something that I could sell if I don't need it. Aww, nearly made it. And another Poochian. Oh, that reminds me right now, I started playing uh, Pokemon Emerald a while back by now. A long while back. And I was still in the introduction area, so I did not have any Pokeballs yet. And my first encounter was a shiny Poochian, and I could not catch it. Well, actually the second encounter, because the first one is the fight against the uh, Poochian that attacks mm, the professor. So it was actually my second encounter. I have that actually somewhere on my Twitter posted. Maybe I find the post and can add that in. Hey there, Mr. Briny. Come back here. Oh, hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Uh, you're like her. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you so m so much to you. We owe you so much to you. Whatever. Uh, what's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. If I let her bound for due further and the package will slate port and then. Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. We've come, you've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Dufer. Sure, let's go. Dufer it is then. Anchors away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. I find it actually funny that you never can go to Slateport directly from here. Which is kind of dumb. Why do we stop in the middle of the ocean? Beep. Oh, Laika. Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's, mi Devon's Mr. Stone about your Pokenav, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Click. Thanks, Dad. Next one, Mom. So many people in the water. And we're just out with a speedboat. Ahoy! With Hitland and Dufort. I suppose you have to deliver that letter to... Uh, who was it now? Steven. Yeah. But first of all, let's explore all of Dufort. Right there. Wow. You bothered to cross the sea to visit Dufort? Did you m maybe come here because you heard about Brawly? He's so cool. Everyone idolizes him. I came here because I had stuff to do, but yeah, also for him, I guess. Gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yeah. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're, deli you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. Thank you for your silk scarf. The silk scarf raises the power of normal type moves. It's a marvelous scarf that will go with almost all Pokemon. You're weird, buddy. But thanks for your scarf. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and start to posse them Pokemon. But first, even the Pokemon faints and can't battle, it can still use a move learned from a hidden machine. Which is probably the funniest thing. Your Pokemon is, uh, is fainted, there's a tree to cut. You just take the hand of your Pokemon and go in there and... 
Oh, your Pokemon is fainted and you still surf on the ocean. So you're just sitting on top of it. And it's fainted. I like the concept behind that. It's so stupid. There's a stone cavern at the edge of town. I've heard you can find rare stones there. It's nice and all. So there's uh, one Pokemon on this island that I wanna have. So we're gonna deposit the Pokemon and that's gonna be Rumble because you don't have a name. So get out of here. And actually this is where my team may take one of two forms because this is a point where I said I'm gonna go with whatever I find first. Because both of the Pokemon that I wanna have are a little bit more on the rarer side to find and whichever one I encounter first will be the one that I try to get into the party. But more about that later. Dilford is a tiny island community. If th something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. That sounds horrifying. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting to it the itch of fish? Yes. I hear you, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Got your old rod, buddy. And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing in the eyes. First you only want to... First you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you need to, to time the pulls on your rod to hold them in. You make it sound so much more difficult than it actually is. Hey, Dan. There's a lot to be said for, for living on a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and the family. Sure. I left the major port of Zelt, uh, Slateport City when I married my husband here. Life goes by slowly in this little island, but being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's happiness too. You don't sound 100% sold on that. Which I mean is fine. But, but still. That cut out perfectly. I like what's hip happening and trendy. I'm always checking it out. Well, nobody says hip happening and trendy anymore, so you're really far behind. Listen, have you heard about this new, different book? That's right, of course you know. I mean, sheesh, different book. It's the hardest thing and cool. Wherever you're from, different book is the biggest happening thing, right? No. Huh? It's not the hip and happening thing? Well, hey, you have to tell me. What's the new and what's in? Boy, you have to learn so much. Let's go and delete all of that first. And let's see him what's hip and happening right this instant. Huh? Thirsty thick? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that all along. Of course I know about thirsty thick, right? Yeah, that's it. It's there. Isn't thirsty thick the coolest or what? It's the hippest thing in hip. You think I don't know about it? Different book? It's like a five, so five minutes ago. Now thirsty thick is what's vital and in tune with the times. I just wish I would have thick with three C's, then it would actually be perfect. Fuck you. Anyway. Anyway, let's go in here. Actually, there's a sign outside. Let's read that one first. Dewford Hall, everyone's information exchange. Okay, well then let's go in here. What's in vogue? Why, well, it has to be thirsty thick. I can't imagine what life would be like without thirsty thick. I also can't. At this point in time, there's nothing without thirsty and thickness. I'm teaching my Pokemon about thirsty thick, but it's not going well. It's a bit too much, I think. Yeah, pff, I can't believe that. I'm studying out on the hip and trendy Thirsty Thick now. Is it true that there is a deep link between Thirsty Thick and Bath? I mean... Some might say yes. Oh, so my hunch was right. I'm one step closer to being hip and happening. Yowza. Drop the yowza, but you actually were surprisingly close with Bath. Across the sea. Is Thirsty Thick even more popular? Oh, you know it. <laughs> This whole business about Thirsty Thick. Isn't there a TV show on it? I... Kind of fish? Yeah, kind of fish. Not... Whatever. 
What did, what did I do to these people? I collect official thirsty thick licensed merchandise. I have official thirsty thick dolls, official thirsty thick brand clothing, and official licensed thirsty thick picture books. <laughs> I own. I'm not sharing anything with you. How old are you? Whatever, it's fine. You need to learn about it eventually anyway, but dang! That kid owns the thickness. I saw Thirsty Thick. Cool, huh? It's like the coolest thing going. It was awesome. It was the real thing, oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no. That alleged Thirsty Thick you claim to have seen, it's not. The authentic article is much, how should I say it, sharper yet more mellow. No matter, it's astonishing. I don't know what the heck you two are talking about. I think the only one that gets thirsty thick really is that kid here with dolls, comics, shirts. The kid gets thirsty thick, that's what I want to say. Hey there. What do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my road hooks are big on while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. <sighs> Buddy, your problems are definitely their own. Anyway, tentacool. So there's not 100% gain out of that because you have a poison typing. Which makes you super effective against me, which is something that I definitely hate. But I can get a normal effect out of that. It's not worth it. And poison afterwards. And you dealing... <sighs> I hate tentacle so much. It's a good type combo, not gonna lie, but I hate tentacle. Fuck you! Like seriously! Oh. I 100% hate tentacle. Ah, they're nearly as frustrating as fucking Zubats. Die! Hypothermia, whatever. Level 17 for silver. Good. And level 17 for Kara. I keep them really close together there. Ah, fucking hate you. That's because I'm trying not to go to the washroom. Screw you! And your fucking tentacle. It was only a question of time, of time until we got the freaking poison effect on screen. Anyway, let's go and heal the team. Freaking thing, really. Hate you so much. You also have a tentacle, don't you? Which do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or a stream? Well, I like streams, I think, a bit more. Not like fishing, though. I've never been fishing, so whatever. But I think I like streams still more, overall. Let's Mega Drain your Magic Carps. Magic Carp is really freaking fast, that's just one thing there. Let's go. Fully drained. Fully drained fish! Tentacle, I'm gonna switch around because screw that noise. Hate Tentacle with a burning passion. Are you faster than I am? You're not, so that should deal with you no problem. <sighs> Annoying thing. Perfect. And the magic harp so I can switch back to Silva. Because that way, I don't need to worry about anything else. Because the fight will be over in just one swing. Because Mega Drain should deal with that. Having the Miracle Seed on Silver with that also is helpful, because that bumps it just a little bit. And there we go. Like in deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. Have you ever tried deep sea fishing? Fishing's great, but so is battling. 
If I don't mind, can we meet again? Okay. Let's get some stardust and I think there was one more item back all the way here. Wasn't there? Yeah, Pokeball. It's just so much about this game that I still remember to this day. But it's also my favorite Pokemon game. Hey there, buddy. Hey you! It gets awful dark ahead. It'll be tough uh, trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, uh, Steve I think it was, he knew how to use Flash so it ought to be alright but... Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I pass this on to you. HMO5! Teach that hidden move Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even that inky darkness of a cave. But to use it, you need the gym badge from Dewford's Pokemon Gym. Yeah. So, you need to fight the gym first to actually use that move. Which... Makuhita! I normally don't do. I normally go through the cave first and then deal with the gym. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel more comfortable with it. Because my... My job here is to deliver a ladder, not to go and have a Pokemon battle right now. So that's why I want to go and deliver the ladder. Anyway, let's go through here because there is the Pokemon in this cave that I want to... STOP IT FOR FUCK'S SAKE! What's with the fucking encounter rate right now? Seriously? Can't even take one freaking step in here. Escape rope, thank you. Fuck off, dude. So annoying. Okay, there's an easy way to explore this whole thing and that is just stick to the walls. But there's also, I think, down here an item. So I need to take a little bit of an extra branch. So bad, not the Pokemon that we're after. Also, we could have gotten that in the first floor. And the ones that I'm looking for are only in this floor up, uh, down. So where is it? There it is. Pokeball! Thank you very much. Good thing is, again, that I know this cave specifically so well. Because I always go through it without, like, any lights, because I hate using Flash on a Pokemon and I never do the gym leader first. I always go through the cave first, so... If now, please, one of the two Pokemon that I want to have. And there we go! It's Aaron. It's also a female one. Seems like at the end the party is gonna be all females. But that's the second party member that I wanna have. The third party member that I wanna have. Let's see if the other one, the potential one that we could have taken, will appear as well before us. But for the time being, we have Aaron here. He right here. We have myself. Let's go. And you're fully drained to the point that I wanna have you. So that's good. So let's bag you in. Pokeball. Catch that steel body because I want to have it. It's gonna be strong. There we go. Iron, the Iron Armor Pokemon. A Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron products. But only if Aaron doesn't eat it himself because he likes eating metal. Are you talking about the Pokemon now or about me? You're not making it clear right now. Anyway. So, you're in the party. So, what is gonna be your name? Hey, chip, 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 chip. Actually, there's only one tough iron lady that I know. And that's... That's you. Uh, tough. I think you spelled her like that. So there we go, new party member. Let's switch them around like that. No, not item. Switch like this. And then, just because I want to train you up a little bit. I 
I need to put you up front, potion. And because I already know that you will be a slow one, you get the... No. I'm gonna give it a quick class so that you get a little bit of an edge on your attacks. And then, because you probably don't have anything, we're gonna use Rock Tomb on you. Because that way you have a little bit of an advantage for what's to come. Also, if we have to fight some Zubats. Anyway, let's take a look at Toph. So, Steel Rock Sturdy negates one-hit KO attacks. Really good. Docile. Um, what do we have? Attack is good. Defense even better. Special attack, special defense and speed are all at 13. That's why we gave it a quick claw to up you a little bit. Your attacks are Tackle, Harden, Mud Slap and Rock 2. Mud Slap is the attack that we had for Kara early on. We now have it back, which is nice. So, that means we're only missing two Pokemon really for the full party. So don't worry about that, we're gonna get them eventually. Um, let me think, the next one... The next one will be actually a good bit before we get to them. Well, it's a good bit before we get to, ne to the next Pokemon. So, I would love to do that fight, but you will teleport away. I should have just thrown a Pokeball, I just realized. Ah, whatever. So, up here is the next item that we want to have, an Everstone. Not like I want to keep my Pokemon forever unevolved, but still. And up we go, next floor. Uh, that one is just straight across, and we're here. Ta-da! Super confusing cave navigated without any problems. Did not sadly see the other Pokemon that I might have gotten as party member. But... There also was not really a chance for that. So problem here is you will be murdered by that. So I'm gonna switch you around. And give you a little bit of something. There might actually be a little bit of interest in going in there and training my team before I go to the gym leader in that case. I just realized that because I think the strongest Pokemon from the gym leader is at level 17 and he loves pumping his Pokemon up so that it can just one shot everything in your party. And Toph is sturdy and will not go down in one swing, but still. Anyway, my name's Steve. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. No, oh, a ladder for me. You gave the ladder. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Uh, let me see. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. TM 47! Okay. Your Pokemon appeared quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I uh, know. Since we've got to know each other, let's, regi let's register one another in our Pokenavs. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. Now, I've got to hurry along. Hi, Steve. And I think in here is nothing. I think there's not even encounters. Or is there? There's encounters, okay. So it's a completely pointless and empty room. Okay, so since we have not seen the second Pokemon that I might have added to the party, um. I could attack you at least once, but it doesn't take you out. I'm just gonna run. The second Pokemon that was on the potentially in the party list was Soberis. Or Sableye, that's it. Sableye is the English name. Sorry, the other one was the German name. Was Sableye. And depending on that, the rest of the party actually wouldn't have changed depending on that. But it would have been either Aaron. Or Sableye. So we would have had a ghost type Pokemon here or just a steel rock type. If I would have gotten Sableye, going to the gym leader would have been no problem because even the level difference would be like easy pickings because it's a fighting type gym. So Sableye, 
makes clean work with that one. Let's see if we can catch that Abra. No, we can't. Well, then go Kadabra. Make like a tree and leaf. So there is, there is something inside me that wants to tell me, train up at least a little bit before you go out to the gym. I just hate that I don't get a Zubat bad because that way I could train Toph up a little bit. But whatever. There's also something inside of me that tells me that it should be fine. Anyway, we'll see about that. I'm also gonna check something out because there is still something that I feel a little bit weird about. And I think I should have an item already that I don't have. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video and see you all next time. Bye.